What's going on guys, it's Pete from PeteIsip.com. Hope you guys are doing great. Um, hope you're having a great week. I know we had the snowstorm and it was kind of a bust, but uh, I still feel that it was probably something good for people to have. Uh, to almost have everything shut down, a little bit of panic in the beginning, whatever, but being able to just sit home for an extra day and maybe spending time with your family or being home for an extra day just actually doing nothing. You know, sometimes we need that recharging day and so no matter how shitty it was because, hey, maybe you didn't get 75,000 feet of snow, um, boo-hoo, but I think it was a little bit better than shoveling out of three feet of snow. Yeah, I guess you'd want to see it. You know, I guess you'd like to see it, but then when you see it, it's like one of those things like, eh, maybe it's not as good as I thought, you know, because I'm stuck inside my house and now I have to shovel a thousand times. So, uh, just a little update on recovery. I am getting better. It is weak as hell. Um, I don't really put much pressure on it. They said to keep 25% on it. I'm still using these bad boys. And I do have a nice workout that I made up. You can check it out at the end of this uh, video. If you'd like to, I'll just put it up for fun for some shoots and giggles. Shoots and giggles. Shoots and giggles. And um, yeah, it's just feeling a little better day by day. You know, I'm recovering fast and that I guess has a main part of me just being in shape beforehand. And it really does make uh, sense. Because I don't understand how people get surgery um, if they're not in shape or not working out or not strong um, in some parts of their body. And I just, you know, I, I, now I get that. It's like the small little things that are hard. Putting on your socks. I don't wear socks anymore, just so you know, because I can't put them on. Nor am I going to ask someone to put them on for me. So I just put my shoes on the, um, I unlace them to the loosest point and I just slip those bad boys on. So my feet stink. Yes, they do. Um, taking a dump. Pretty tough. You know, one of those things that is uh, kind of hard. Getting in and out of bed and on and off the couch or in my car. Am I driving? Yes. Am I supposed to? Oh. Still do, though. And uh, that's the one thing that I think is helping my process of healing is my mindset. Okay? You could be hurt. You could be injured. You could be doing anything. It could be an ankle injury to a lower back injury to a shoulder, a shoulder, a shoulder, a shoulder injury. Um, or even uh, surgery and it depends on how you look at it okay it depends on how you look at what you're going to tell people and what you're going to talk about and I believe the energy that you put behind it is what's going to help you heal okay my mind could be totally fucked I could be on the couch right now laying down because I'm not supposed to work out or I'm not supposed to move and I'm you know I just got to move around a little bit I got to work I'm on crutches I just had surgery I could milk it I could probably milk it for four weeks but what's that going to do nothing it's gonna make me feel sad it's gonna put me in a dark place it's gonna make me think about a lot more negative things than i have to think about i was stuck in the house for two days i almost said three but I, I left after the third two days and that was enough for me to stop feeling bad for myself even then i was really forcing myself to get up to move around the house to do whatever i can to get better because that's what i want to do i want to get better i don't want to just sit here and, and just sulk um all my pain and my injury. Ooh, it hurts for me. Let people feel bad for me. I'm in crutches and it's bad enough I get enough questions. Okay, I don't like people feeling sorry for me. I don't want to feel sorry. I don't want them to feel sorry for me because then I'll feel sorry for myself and that's one attitude I don't want to have. I want people to see that inside pain, inside struggle, there's a happy side. You can be happy. Okay, you can smile. You can do good even though you're down. And that's my biggest message that I'd like for people to see through my actions is that yeah I had hip surgery yeah that shit hurts and it's annoying and I have no socks on and I can't take a dump and it takes me 10 minutes to do so and I can't get on and up on the couch but fuck me there's people that have 10 times worse things at least I could get the surgery you know what I'm trying to say so I always say it's a mindset and people say you look like you didn't even have surgery you look like you just are the same person except you're using crutches for fun and to be honest with you, I'm pretty good at these things. So if you haven't seen that video, check that one out. Um, but I am having fun. And it's fun seeing people. It's fun being in an environment that helps me be happy. So I surround myself with happy people. I surround myself with positive energy. And by that happening, I'm healing. My mind is healing. My body's healing. Because if my mind was fucked, this body's not going to heal the right way. No matter how much I rest it. No matter how much therapy I do for it. If my mind is in the bad place, my body's not going to be in a great place either. 
right? So it's all about how you think about it. And I saw something uh, last night. I forget what it said, really, but it said like, ah, oh, man, what did it say? Something about it doesn't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter oh, what you feel like. It matters most is what you think about, you know? And that is involved in happiness. I completely fucked that whole thing up. I fucked that up. So I'm just gonna put a picture of it right now. And I don't know what it says, but that's what it said. And the meaning behind it is that it's all in your mind. You know, happiness is something in your mind. Everyone says that, you know, money will make you happy, this will make you happy, th that'll make you happy. No, none of it will. It depends on what, how you look at things. Because how come people around the world with different circumstances or different lives are happy, but the other ones aren't? So I don't think there's one thing in this world that's going to make you happy except for inside your own mind. All right, guys, I'll see you later. This is Pete, PeteSit.com. I'm going to limp over to the button, and I'm going to make that static noise starting now.